All right, what we have here is a very simple circuit. It actually uses only about three components. It's a high-powered TTL buffer circuit. It consists of a um, 7414, that's a hex, Smith trigger input uh, inverters, and a P-channel and N-channel MOSFETs. Now part of this is being used as a debounce switch and the other inverter is being used um, to drive the MOSFETs. The circuit is 5 volts but it could be easily with some modifications used at a higher voltage. You would use this on the output of say an Arduino or microcontroller pin which can normally um, sync or source something like uh, 40 milliamps this thing will sink or source up to um, a couple of amps and it can even drive a motor directly and all you do is the red LED is the input and the green LED is the output it is non-inverting high in gives you high out let's go look at the circuit this is probably going to be one of the simplest circuits you've ever built. And this is not just connecting a motor or an LED to a MOSFET. This has the ability to switch to high or low. You can, and I'll explain how this works. This is your circuit, a single inverter and two MOSFETs, a P-channel MOSFET here. And this is the source up there. The source to the end channel is down here. You tie the two drains together. And here is a single, of course, input. It's an inverter. The value in, if it's a low in, it's a low out. If it's a high in, it's a high out. It's, so it is functionally this, a non-inverting current booster. And depending on, on your MOSFETs and other factors, you could probably source or sync a couple of amps with this. So let's see how it works. You have a low end that's going to be inverted to a high. The high is going to turn off U9, but it's going to switch on U8 and create a current path to ground. If I had this LED over here that's connected to VCC, the LED would turn on. Here is the same circuit again. A high in is going to give me a low out. It's going to turn on the P-channel MOSFET U1 and turn off U2. So what this does, it gives me a current path through U1. And if I connect an LED to it in this manner, it'll create a current path all the way to ground through the LED. It's that simple high in, high out, low in, low out. What else can we use this for? All right, let's have a little bit of fun here. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to connect this output to this side of the motor. I'm going to take this side of the motor up here and connect it to this input which with a low end creates a path to ground. The current flow on the motor of course is going to flow through U1 through the motor back to U8 to ground. If I was to change this one to um, high, 
and change this to low. I would reverse my current flow. So the input, these two inputs, will form essentially an H bridge. Yep. It's an H bridge, it's a modification of an H bridge circuit. High in, low out, motor runs in one direction. High out, low in, motor runs in other direction. And note the MOSFETs that I'm using have internal diodes. And so how that's that's how the circuit works. I came up with the idea to boost the power coming out of a microcontroller or similar device. But that is all you have to do with these. You can use it at 5 volts. Um, because you can experiment with this. This is uh, the 74LS04 inverter. That's a 5 volt circuit. But note that it does, but that it is separate or insulated from the MOSFETs through the gates. I'm not sure if you're if you're going to do this, change this to a 74C04, run it at 12 volts, and you can run this up to 12 volts and it should work fine for a higher voltage. So, okay, this is a simple buffer circuit. I hope you have some fun with it. Uh, visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for listening in.